Nintendo of America throws a lot of sales our way, and may usually stand in the spotlight. They recently had a sale for Valentine's Week, they've had some publisher sales that grouped together a cluster of cool games, but from time to time, Nintendo of Europe brings the heat with a really cool sale. And so today we're spotlighting the Blockbuster sale that runs from right now until March 1st. And remember, you can access this sale even if you aren't across the pond. All you gotta do is make an account for the appropriate region and get a point card for the appropriate region and you can play too. But this is a really nice one and Blockbuster indeed. There's some big Nintendo games and I've got 10 of them for you. So make sure to let me know in the comments down below which of these games looks the best to you which one you'd recommend to a friend, and which one you might want to pick up. We're kicking it off with Fire Emblem Three Houses. This game is 33% off, 33.29 pounds from 50. Now, you're gonna see sales from the 30% range all the way up to 75%, and there's some major games. It's a blockbuster sale with big first party titles, and everything we're covering is retail based. So Fire Emblem Three Houses just got new DLC, Byleth, entered the Smash Bros. Arena. It's a phenomenal game from 2019, and if you had to, to skip it or you missed it because you bought Luigi's Mansion or because you didn't have a Switch yet, this is a phenomenal game. Now, it might not be my cup of tea, although I really do like tea. My preference is wild orange or there's this really yummy pomegranate. But for many players, this was a fantastic new entry in the Fire Emblem franchise. A lot of of story drama, a lot of great gameplay, um, and it continues to expand and build with that DLC. So you can grab this one for 33% off. Next up, Super Mario Maker 2 sees the same discount for the same price, 33.29 pounds. And I love me some Mario Maker 2. I was a bit shocked that it didn't sell as well as I or probably Nintendo expected. In fact, Luigi's Mansion 3 beat out Mario Maker 2 last year in half the time. And New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe beat out Mario Maker 2, even though that's a port of an old game. So I don't know if people are just sick of making courses, uh, or maybe it's a more niche audience than I expected, but this game really does expand on the first and bring some awesome features like the Koopa Car, which I freaking love. Those stages are fantastic. They're challenging as all heck. They're fun to ride around in. They've recently added the update that brings the Master Sword and new Zelda course parts so you can play as Link um, and, and really expand the types of adventures, the types of levels that you can make or you can play. If you're, if you're me, like, I don't really ever partake in making the levels and I still think the game is a lot of fun. They fixed all of the multiplayer issues. It is a well-rounded package now. And I still think it's a great grab in 2020 for 33% off. Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. An odd one to see on this list. It's not my favorite Assassin's Creed, but if you've ever Jones to play, one of these big Xbox PlayStation franchises on your Switch. I think this is a good time to grab on. 63% off from 30 pounds down to 11.09 pounds. That's a pretty good deal. Now, they are bringing more and more Assassin's Creeds to the platform. More and more. Uh, not the newer ones, obviously, but they're building a, an arsenal of the older titles. Black Flag, Rogue, Liberation three remastered so this is an opportunity to jump in and see what it's like to carry an assassin around with you i don't think this is a must buy by any stretch but for 11 pounds 63 percent off you probably can't go wrong now this one goes until february 24th so as i mentioned most of these deals are going to run until march 1st as you see here on mario maker 2 and as you see here on fire Emblem. but a few do have an earlier date. So this one is February 24th, so pay attention um, to that if there's a specific game in case uh, so, you, so you don't miss out. Super Mario Odyssey is another March 3rd, and this one gets a full a big crazy page because they they love it here. Um, but it's 33.29 pounds, 33% off. What do we got to say about Mario Odyssey? Well, I will say that I wish that they had dumped more DLC efforts into this one. Balloon World is cute, but where are the new worlds, man? It's like the two games that have sold phenomenally that bear Mario's name in the title, Super Mario Odyssey and Super Mario Party, they just didn't get the DLC love. Furukawa was always talking about expanding the life cycle of certain games with DLC and going back to the well. What the heck? It's like you got Mario in the title, you don't deserve DLC. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, obviously a DLC on Wii U, but nothing new on Switch despite, despite 22 million copies. Mario Odyssey only sees a little bit with costumes and Balloon World. Mario Party gives just about nothing. 
What the heck? Zelda seeing big DLC, Pokemon seeing big DLC, Luigi's Mansion getting DLC, Fire Emblem getting DLC. Do they have something against Mario? Is Miyamoto just, he's like, nah, DLC, it ain't worth it. But it would be so cool, even without, though, if you've missed out on Mario Odyssey somehow, which you probably haven't, but if you have, it's a good chance to grab it for 33% off. It's a phenomenal game. I mean, it, it's that's a, that's a known quantity right there. Dark Souls Remastered, maybe not as phenomenal, but for 40% off, down from 35 to 20.99 pounds, I, I still think it's a fun time. Obviously, the franchise and the genre has advanced far beyond Dark Souls 1, 2, 3, Bloodborne, Sekiro, eventually Elden Ring, but it's pretty neat to take your warrior and your worry on the go. Those souls are very hard to keep track of, uh, but when you do it is so satisfying. I love Soulsborne type games. I love the franchise. Honestly, Sekiro didn't do it for me, so I was happier to go back and give a go uh, of this one portably, and I think it's a pretty good pickup. It runs till March 1st, 29.99. Um, I I think here is a, a solid solid chance to grab the game. I believe it's been a little bit cheaper before, um, but this is just about half off. So if you've waited on it or wondered what it would be like to play one of the one of the classics, I think that's fair to say. Um, it's still a fun time. It still holds up. I still very much enjoy it. Unravel 2 is a hidden gem. Uh, maybe it's a hidden yarn, um, but Un Yarny and his buddy are back with 75% discount from 24.99 pounds down to 6.24 again till March 1st. This is a really good co-op adventure. Really, really good. And it's got um, the appeal for, for both families, younger players, and also hardcore gamers. I enjoyed this game even without, you know, I didn't play with like a younger still. I didn't play with, with someone who'd never game before, and I still think it's a fun time. The mechanics of controlling yarning, swinging your thread, roaming around this big, big world. It's like Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves, which, by the way, Honey, We Shrunk the Kids is coming back. Rick Moranis, boom, baby, getting that Disney contract once again. I'm sure that money made him, made an easy decision to come out of retirement. Anyhow, it would be cool if Unravel actually partnered. Never mind. Okay, Unravel 2 is a really good game. I think at 6.24, 75% off. It's a fun one. It's not going to be too long of a romp, but it's something to fill the gap between now and Animal Crossing. Um, and if you are someone who has a significant other, a child, a younger sibling, a nephew, a grandparent, and you do want to try to get them into gaming, then even better. I think this one works fantastically well for that. It still has enough challenge and charm for you, and it'll be enjoyable and interesting for them. L.A. Noir, baby. 50% off from 44.99 down to 22.49 March 1st. This is my game, baby. This is my favorite Rockstar game. <gasps> Blasphemous. Yeah, I like Ellie Noir more than some of the others because it does things in such a different, unique way. The detective game has been done before, but the facial recognition and the ability to question and interrogate is the centerpiece of a stellar storyline with really fun gameplay. I think it holds up pretty darn well. I was so pumped to see Rockstar bring this to Switch. One day, maybe we get GTA. I know that would please a bunch of you players out there. But for now, Eleanor, not too bad. It has been cheaper, I will say that. Um, it has been cheaper, but it still holds up. It's still a very fun time. Um, you get to explore a, a big LA city in the 1940s. They do have gesture controls and HD rumble. Um, they did make some enhancements specific for Switch, which is nice and cool. I think the story kind of gets a little wonky at the end, but the early cases in particular are phenomenal, um, and you'll be impressed with the facial animation even in 2020. I so wish they would go back to this. Well, I wish in general Rockstar would tap into some of their uh, more diverse franchise instead of just GTA, Red Dead, GTA, Red Dead, GTA, Red Dead, uh, but who knows? Maybe with Dan Hauser leaving the company, maybe they will uh, take some risks and go back to L.A. Noir or Bully or something of the sort. Anyways, I like this game a lot, a lot. Not the best price point we've seen, but at 50% off, if you already have all the Nintendo Classic mainstays, might be something to look at. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy wraps up on February 21st. It is 50% off, 35 pounds down to 17.49. I've talked about this game so many times. It was recently part um, of an Activision publisher sale over on the US eShop. Here it is on the EU, uh, UK eShop doing work. It's a fantastic game, similar to L.A. Noir and Dark Souls. It holds up very well. Despite being much older, this gameplay is just... It stands the test of time. It's a testament to how cool Crash Bandicoot is and 
the fact that they just nailed the platforming. It looks great. It runs good on Switch. You get three games for like way less than the price of one. It's hard to argue against this. I would honestly say that Crash Bandicoot and Saint Trilogy, outside of the Breath of the Wilds and the Odysseys and the Mario Karts and the Celeste, the Katana Zeros, I think this is like one of those must buy. If I was telling someone to start a Switch collection, I would recommend this game because it's always at a good price. It's a bunch of content. It's a lot of fun. There's strong challenge, but you can also kind of get through without being perfect. And it's great to see Crash back. Will we see him in Smash Bros? Rumors have said maybe. I don't trust anything right now. The direct rumors are off. The Smash Bros rumors have been off. I'm going uh, no rumor rants in this house for now. But Crash Bandicoot, feel free to add it to your house. You're, you're going to enjoy it. Moonlighter, March 1st. 60% off from 22.49 down to 8. 0.99 is a fantastic game. Now, it might not be for everybody. It's an action RPG with roguelite elements, and you have to deal with a shop. You're going to have to price your items in the shop, but then go out and adventure and fight. So it's got sort of that dual gameplay idea that has become popularized now, like the blending, the merging, the smashing and crashing of two disparate genres into one cool package. It's not my favorite eShop game, um, but I do like it. It's got a very cute colorful art style it's unique to set pricing and then go fight and battle and deal with sort of roguelite elements i like this one quite a bit it may not reach the upper echelon um, of the very very best eShop, but it's still a really cool time um, and i recommend it highly at this price point this is like this is like a steal this is a really good deal and if you've like i said if you've, you've played through all the the most recommended stuff this is like a, a tier two recommendation and, and one that's still really good reviewed really well uh, a lot of fun, a lot of gameplay there. Pretty darn neat. Last but not least is Little Nightmares Complete Edition. Oh, goodness. Of all the indies that have come out in the last four or five years, this is one of my absolute favorites. People tout games like Limbo and Inside for doing wondrous storytelling with no words and very unique gameplay, limited color palettes. Little Nightmares is right up there. I cannot wait for the sequel that's coming this year. So this is a great chance to see where the series started and get excited for the sequel. It is releasing on Switch. It's supposed to be a bigger, better world, a lot more going on. But Little Nightmares is a nice, confined adventure. I don't want to spoil anything, but there's these creepy, evil, puppet, muppet-like bosses. These chase stealth sequences that aren't boring or full of a lot of waiting like something uh, you know, akin to amnesia. Much more active, you have to be much more, I feel, clever, tactical. It's a it's a blast of a time. The world building is fantastic. The, the ambiance, the mood, the vibe is superb. The ending is shocking and will stick with you. You look at the title, Little Nightmares, and you're like, oh, maybe it's just kind of a fun ending. No, Little Nightmares is, it is way up there. It is that top quality. Bandai Namco found themselves a winner with Tarsier Studios and this franchise. I can't believe it's getting a sequel. It makes me so happy. This is the complete edition that includes uh, the DLC and at 11.99, 60% off until March 1st. I love it so much. From, from 30 down to 11.99. If you haven't heard of, played, seen, tried Little Nightmares, do it. You won't regret it. And it's a double whammy bonus because not only will you enjoy the heck out of Little Nightmares and have a great time, then you'll be super hyped for the sequel and can mark that off as another major title to get excited for since Nintendo won't tell us what they've got planned. Hey, at least we know what freaking Tarsier and Bandai have planned, and that's Little Nightmares 2, but for now, grab the complete edition. All right, that's what we've got going on. As I said, there's a bunch more games if you want to roll through. Ukulele and the Impossible Layer, not too shabby. You've got your sports titles as well. Lego is up there. Spyro for the same price as Crash if the Dragon is more your speed. Um, some interesting games, Team Sonic Racing, but I highlighted the 10 I liked most. Let me know what you like most in the comments down below. I'd say if I had to give you three picks, it would be Fire Emblem Three Houses because the DLC is new. The game is relatively new and 33% off is pretty darn nice. It would be Little Nightmares Complete Edition for 11.99. I like that so freaking much. It's easy to say Crash, so I won't say that. I'm gonna say Unravel 2. It's a unique pick. Probably one you don't have, and for just a little over six pounds, it's not going to set you back, but it's going to give you a heck of a lot of fun and good gaming time, potentially with a significant other or a younger brother, sibling, relative, which is always a joy and a good time. So there you have it. That is the EU blockbuster sale that Nintendo's got 
rolling on. Remember, you can access it no matter where you are as long as you create an account, which is easy and free. Then you do need to get a point card that is uh, specific to that region, which can be a little trickier sometimes to 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 find. But if you do, then, then you can grab these sales as well. Until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and love these sales like I do. For now, though, have a fantastic day. Be good to yourself and others out there. Switch Force, out.